Little Sis Permissions. You may be wondering, what are some things you would be able to do as an administrator in Little Sis? Here are a list of things that you would be able to do. Some things you would be able to do would be to filter through the Explorer grid, which we'll get into shortly, so that you can filter things within your site to see what's going on. You can refresh the data so that you're seeing updated information of the Google Classroom. You'll be able to archive any active classes at any given time, depending on whatever reason, especially if the class will be unmonitored by an adult. You can archive those classes. You can also go back and make those classes active as well. Also, as some of the teacher permissions, you'll be able to join as a co-teacher. You may want to provide support or assistance to a teacher. You'll be able to add yourself to the class. You're also able to remove co-teachers and yourself from the class, add other additional co-teachers, and even change the primary teacher. We get this a lot. For whatever reason, the primary teacher needs to be changed. You can do this here in Little Sis, and we'll show you how to do all of that in the upcoming videos. Some of the student functions that you will be able to do, you'll be able to join as a student yourself. Sometimes you just want to see what the classroom looks like from a student's perspective. Maybe a parent has complained about the class being disorganized, and you just want to see it from a student's perspective. To provide feedback to the teacher, you definitely can. You'll also be able to email join codes which you don't really have to do if the teachers are using the provision classes. Notice this year we did provision classes for the teachers already. We highly recommend that the teachers use those provision classes with the students already in the classes when school starts. But you'll also be able to add students to the classes here in Little Sis, and you'll also be able to remove students. So you have full access to do that. Also, some reporting information. You'll be able to view an individual teacher summary timeline of information, you'll be able to check out a roster of what's happening in the class, any changes that are happening, track down what's going on in that class if you need to do some type of investigation, and just an overall teacher analysis of what's going on in the classroom, or they actually even using Google Classroom to fidelity. So those are some of the things that we'll discuss today in the video series.